My name is Brad Prather. I am with DWD Technology Group in the Indianapolis office. And today I'm going to show you how to reverse an entry in the general ledger with just one click. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to the Library Master module and you need to make sure that the individual you want to be able to reverse the entry has the proper security rights to do that. So you would go to Role Maintenance, find the role of the person or persons that you want to have access. In this case, I just have one. And you're going to go to the Security Events tab. From here, you're going to expand the General Ledger. And then you'll find a checkbox there that says Allow Journal Reversal. You will want to make sure that that box is checked. Once you have all of your roles set up, that you want to have this functionality, you will go to the General Ledger module, Account Maintenance, and it is important that you go to Account Maintenance. This functionality is not available in the Account Inquiry. It is only available in the Account Maintenance. And you need to go to one of the GL accounts that got a posting in this entry. It doesn't matter what account it is. It can be anything within that entry, but it's at least one of the accounts where either a debit or credit was originally posted. I'm going to do a lookup in my general ledger chart of accounts, and I'm gonna go down to my sales account here, and I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna to go to the transactions tab, and from here you'll see all of the entries that I had in this year to the sales account. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to highlight the last one because that's the one I want to reverse. You'll notice once I highlighted that, the journal reversal arrow became active over here. The little, looks like the redo icon. I'm going to click on that. And it has automatically created a journal entry for me in general journal entry. So I'm gonna say okay to that. Close my account maintenance. And now I'm gonna go into general journal entry. We do our lookup here, and we see that that entry has been created for us automatically. One thing to note, this posting date is going to be whatever the posting date is of your current module that you're currently in. So for example, when I got into this module for the first time, I set the date to 5-31-2020. Um, please pay attention to that posting date. It will not be the date of the original entry. Again, it will be whatever date you have your general ledger in. So make sure that you do get the right date on that posting date and you can reverse this entry. And this is very helpful if you have accidentally entered an entry into the wrong period, you can reverse it out of the incorrect period with the one click, post it to the proper date, and then reverse it into the correct period, and it will make that entry for you automatically as well. And it comes in with just a standard comment of reversal of the journal number. Feel free to type in any other uh, comment that you want to make with this journal. Um, I recommend that you do put the reason that you are reversing that uh, in case somebody comes along and wants to know why this is done. We go to the Lines tab, and as you can see, um, there are all our debits and credits which have been reversed. I can accept that. And then I would print and post this entry like I would any other entry that I have made. And that's how easy it is to reverse a journal entry with just one click in Sage 100. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, my name is Brad Prather with DWD Technology Group out of the Indianapolis office.